A winter weather shelter for teens experiencing homelessness in Yakima is now in full swing. Reporter Kirstia Sheffield talks with leaders at Rod's House on how this shelter, shelter is helping save lives this winter. This is a, a high need and a high demand for this community. In Yakima, overnight temperatures are already reaching below freezing. And for our most vulnerable population, these temperatures could mean severe frostbite and in the worst cases, death. From November 1st to March, the Ross House will be using rooms here to provide shelter for youth age 18 to 24. And this is the only extreme winter shelter in the entire county that offers spaces for individuals in those specific age ranges. Open seven days a week, the winter weather shelter not only gives teens a warm place to stay as many nights as they need, but it offers a safe space where students can closely work with case managers who are on site every night. The winter weather shelter, we have staff there all night long um, and people are able to come take a hot shower. Uh, do homework with staff if they need that. Um, we provide dinner and breakfast every single day. Leaders at Rod's House say the shelter has even helped some teens graduate. We have um, multiple high schoolers who come and stay with us every single night. Uh, last year alone we had, I think it was three, three young adults who were able to graduate. And upon graduation, they let us know that because of Rod's House, they were able to just focus on school for those five months. This is the second year in a row Rod's House is partnered with the Days Inn Motel in Yakima. We're told they're able to request multiple rooms in case some nights are busier because of the weather, as they try to be prepared to not turn anyone away. Thanks so much, Kirstia. And right now, Rod's House is accepting things like coats or blankets to help youth experiencing homelessness survive this winter. They're also looking for meal partners to provide hot meals.